Today, we have the energetic and first time feature presenter, Makola um, Stepovi of Eagle Rock Computers. Makola um, has lived in Edmonton since he was five. His first language is uh, was Ukrainian and he did his uh, preschool to uh, grade 12 in a, a schooling in a Ukrainian bilingual school. Um, Mikola has a six-year-old daughter who's starting grade one uh, this fall and is also taking the same bilingual Ukrainian program. Uh, you can usually find Mikola following up on uh, NFL, getting in some last minute trades for fantasy football and, um, you know, betting, uh, betting it all in a hand of poker. Uh, something that you might not know about Mikola is that he's paid for his first two years of university by playing poker and studying in said poker rooms as it was the only 24 hour um, room that he could study in. So I assume since you went to school at McEwen, it was Baccarat's, I think was the old casino downtown. Did you share a shed a tear when it was demolished? And I'll hand it off to you, McCullough. Uh Thanks, Kyle. No, I'm a North Sider, so I, I was all about the Yellowhead Casino for my poker room days. Um, all right, I'll start off with the presentation now, Kyle. Yeah, we're good to go. Awesome. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Eagle Rock Computer's B9 Apex feature presentation. I'm Nicole Stipovi, Business Development Manager at Eagle Rock Computer. Uh, on today's agenda, we'll cover on a high level the cybersecurity threat landscape overview, view, cyber insurance, how Eagle Rock Computer can help, and then I'll make sure to leave room for questions at the end. I want to take some time to speak on, to you all about a little bit about proactive security and why that's becoming more important nowadays. Even if you haven't been particularly paying attention to security, it's hard to miss all the headlines that continue to pop up in the news day after day. New breaches, new vulnerabilities, there's really no stop to this. And honestly, it continues to be effective. These attackers are continuing to cripple businesses across Canada and around the world. And not to sound like a broken record, but attacks continue to increase year over year. As you can see from the stats on the screen, it's essentially the same story you've been hearing from many security vendors for years. More attacks, more complexity, and more difficult to stay secure. I won't spend too much time rehashing this in particular. What's important is to understand that uh, today's attacks that they don't discriminate. The same level of attacks and the same techniques that they use against large or global enterprises. Unfortunately, these are the same type of attacks and threats that we see used against our local dentist or your general contractor's office. Unless you're one of these massive enterprises with a whole department dedicated to security, it's incredibly difficult to stay on top of these things and deal with those level of attacks. So what can you do? Well, one area that's become extremely popular is cybersecurity insurance, and that's a result of some of the ransomware activity that's going around the world nowadays. Recovering from attack like ransomware is a very long and complex process. On average, you're expecting about a month just to get back to normal, and depending on the industry you're in, you may be more susceptible and more impacted by these things. It may be a slower response. During this downtime, your business is either crippled or completely shut down, and you're losing money by the minute. So this is why a lot of organizations now are adopting cybersecurity insurance. It's very quickly becoming the norm. Uh, what they're able to do is help offset some of the insane costs from recovering from such an attack. Statistically speaking, you're probably already looking at already have cyber insurance coverage for this. And if you don't, talk to Trevor. The problem is that now it's becoming much more difficult to achieve these policies or get their coverage. Uh, they're becoming more complex we have more requirements and they're becoming more expensive as well. You may even start to hear some keywords around these requirements like EDR, backups or incident response. And while these in particular are great to have, they don't necessarily improve security on their own. They need to be leveraged properly in order to provide any actual security benefit. So even if you put EDR and backups in place, unless they're set up correctly, it's not going to achieve much security for you if they're just put in place as a check in the checkbox for the insurance policy. At the end of the day, if you're going to get hit, you're still going to encounter downtime. It's just going to, and it's still going to impact you, but the coverage will just make it a little bit less painful. <clears throat> so where does this leave organizations? Well, they want more security. They want better coverage. They want to be less impacted. No, no, the threat landscape in the security industry just continued to change so rapidly. But a small number of the world's organizations want to be cybersecurity experts. They want to dive into this stuff. They want most likely the largest and most sophisticated organizations in the world. 
And they have the resources, the infrastructure and the clout to accomplish that. But for the millions of real world organizations where they don't want to be cybersecurity experts, they just want to be secure enough that they can get on with their actual business. Whether they're running a bookkeeping practice, managing a law firm or operating a financial institution, security is only one aspect of the whole picture. So how can Eagle Rock Computer help? Well, we specialize with the industry leading security technologies. We help with your cyber insurance policies. We've been protecting families and businesses for over 24 years. We answer our phones in three rings or less, and you get to speak to a real person without any geek speak. We have comprehensive solutions, and we have to, partnerships with top industry uh, providers such as Microsoft and Sophos. So speaking of Sophos, they're our cybersecurity vendor who are experts in threat hunting and response operating 24-7, 365. While we're asleep, they're protecting our businesses from overseas malicious actors. In every single instance, they've been able to detect and stop an attack well before it became a full breach scenario. What makes this even more impressive is that Sophos, they have over 10,000 customers globally. So how does it work? So it's a team of experts that will actually investigate suspicious activity and figure out whether or not it's a real threat. If it is, they'll take the necessary action to contain and neutralize. The way that Sophos is so effective at this is through the tight integration that they have between industry-leading artificial intelligence and the expertise and knowledge of their in-house security team. AI brings important improvements to their efficiency and scalability. However, there will always be some level of threat activity that needs a human or some sort of suspicious activity that an automated solution can't necessarily deem malicious on its own. And this is how Sophos gets the best of both worlds. That information that we're talking about, it goes beyond just endpoints and servers. So you have the confidence to know that Sophos partner with Eagle Rock Computer have your back and their response times are very quick and targeted detection of two minutes or less. They investigate times under 30 minutes and a total resolution time for any given event is in an hour. So this means that if attack were to happen, you may lose one computer instead of your entire organization. So to conclude, you're not too small to be targeted. It's not no longer a matter of if, but when you're gonna get hit, ransom payouts are increasing. So get your cyber coverage from Trevor to help reduce these costs. And please book a one-to-one -one with me for more information on how you can become proactive instead of reactive to cyber threat events. Who has two thumbs and specializes in IT? This guy. Thank you all very much. Uh, and we have room for questions, I, I believe. We sure do. All right. Trevor. Um, Nicola, uh, thanks for the plugs, by the way. Um, my question is, is so, and I know you probably have a large, you know, a large book of clients and businesses that you guys deal with. Out of all those businesses, what's the percentage of them that actually carry uh, cyber insurance? Because I know it's, you know, it is getting more popular, but it's still very seldomly uh, uh, sold or, or acted on. Uh, we recommend cyber insurance coverage to every single one of our clients. Uh, it is a matter of them and their own business decision if they're going to get it or not. Um, but I do know that just in this last year, I helped six of our clients um, fill out their cyber insurance. DNI starts now. DNI starts now. Like everyone says it. Are we all saying it? I'm confused. What are you saying now? Do we all say DNI? Oh, terrible. Starts now. Yeah. Wow. Do you want you to say it? Say, it say it more casually. Like yeah. we're not trying to rehearse the most impossible <laughs> phrase in the world. Now. 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 Now.